In Oakland, it is a disheartening case of deja vu for a mother-daughter duo who run a local clothing business. A break-in at one of their stores for the second time in six weeks, that's enough for them to join the growing chorus of business owners saying they have had enough. He came so in and just walked straight to this rack. Brenda Cherie traced the steps of the thief that smashed their way into her store this morning. He stole stuff off of here. He stole, you know, all this garments that were on this wall. It happened just before 6.30 Tuesday morning at the Taylor J shop on College Avenue. The business is named after her mom. The two of them own it together. But Brenda says the thief stole dozens of outfits from them and jewelry. Sadly, she and her mom are no strangers to being victimized. It's very violating for someone to come in and and steal, you know, you're on your property, you know, steal what you work hard um, to create. We first met Taylor on Easter Sunday. She was one of several business owners rallying in front of City Hall to show unity and fight for a safer Oakland. Hours earlier, a thief ransacked her flagship store on Broadway downtown. Surveillance video showed them using a hammer to smash the glass and kick it open. On Easter, and to be violated in this way, it just feels terrible. That morning, she lost roughly $20,000 in merchandise and the iPad used to collect credit card payments. But her faith was restored by the community response. Neighbors emailed her positive messages and donated to her GoFundMe. We were there as she held a special event at the store to say thank you. That hope made this second robbery extra painful, especially considering they had just put in alarms. This second break in, it almost feels intentional. It does. It feels like it's intentional and in that they are, you know, intentionally coming to make it hard for us. The most recent data from OPD shows overall crime, including burglaries, is down in Oakland, though robberies are still rising. Brenda says she's not feeling a difference, and she thinks city leaders are out of touch with her reality. It doesn't seem like anyone is meeting us where we are. Yeah. It's rough, yeah. and it's it, it just keeps happening. Brenda also told us that she and her mom are resilient. They plan on pushing forward. They've also been hosting pop-up events to boost their business, including one set for this weekend all the way in Atlanta.